All right, we're doing this. This is episode one of Three Bros. Unfortunately, today we only have two. But yeah, it's right. two bros today. It interestingly is. enough, we're down a bro. So, anyways, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was that. So, do you see it? Yeah, it's not bad, dude. I like the uh, bricked. I, I like know. Brick That's one of the early things. In, can you, if you will, follow along? Can you go to the website? Yeah. Um, Sure. And scroll to the bottom. <clears throat> and it's that background at the bottom, too. And I found it. I can't remember how I found it. I was just searching for random. I just typed in USA in Google, but then I also uh, filtered out for literally everything and commercial use. And this is one of the things that came up. And I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Also, how I found all the all the images on our website. Just search Google. Go to fucking can be used for anything plus commercially and everything and shove it up your butt. And I was like, sick. <laughs> so. Sorry, I was just reading the descriptions of uh, our current team on the website. Oh, see, you got caught up. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I told you there were some updates. All right. Well, if the if the business card looks good, Sorry. I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy those. Those are 10 bucks. So um, I also really quickly before we do the discussion over the, the that stuff. Um. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm probably just gonna trim it down to two email email addresses, and use mine, and have you guys all use just the general info at. Um, it's probably it. You know, it probably doesn't matter to to have um two until until it <sighs> things gather a bit more force I, I, I guess i guess i'm the only one not i guess i know that i'm the only one who does need to look legitimate because i'm going to be out there but i'm the only one so i don't i don't necessarily think that i need to or we need to spend any more money than we should and i don't and tell me if you have a problem with that um because you can have your own email it's only it's it's the difference of five bucks um but i think for now you guys can use you guys can all hook up to the info one on your phones um and i'll send out updates Ooh. and look nobody's following us yet so in the first bunch of months it'll be mostly just me sending updates and you'll all get them you know straight to your phone which would be convenient but you but it'll be for everybody so you guys can all use the same email address and the first time anybody ever does actually visit our site and actually emails that info thing then <laughs> you guys all get it mm. um and I, i'll be linked to it too so just in case, you know, because I'd like to see if someone actually sends to it too eventually. So does that sound good or what? Does that sound like yeah. it's, it's acceptable? Okay. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I mean, I wouldn't be too opposed to the idea of me just throwing you like six bucks a month for my own I, email. I, um, I don't I don't care about that. I I'll I'll dude, I'll pay the extra five bucks for because I feel like the amount of work I'll put into it within the first six <clears> months, we should have we're not going to have, you know, a bunch of interest, but we should at least have like tens of people being interested. Um, <laughs> Ideally. Well, look, yeah. you got to start somewhere. So no, I'm you trying, do. Just trying to be realistic. I'm not trying to like get overblown about it. So um, I don't, I, it doesn't bother me if you just want one now because you think you'll use it, uh, whether it be next week or in a couple months. Like I'll just get, I don't care. I'll just give it to you. Hmm. Um, so I mean, I'm fine with using the info at I don't, Unified for now. I'm so not. It's all the same to me. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can do that for now then. Um, yeah, I'm not interested in in worrying about the money. Like I can pay. It's minimal the costs of the shit. I can pay that for now. If we start to take off, and which would be great, but in theory, of course, if we start to take off and uh, we need to start spending some some heavier money, but money's coming in. Like, you know, I'm not. I, it's that's when that's when we can be we can be worried about it when we're actually legitimate. Is what I'm saying. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. Let's and not get too caught up. Correct. In the mean, well, we don't even it, we don't even need to worry about getting too caught up because in the meantime, we're not going to be. It's not the, the expenses that it costs to start it up are not are minimal to nothing. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter in the meantime. So um, all right, yeah. Now you can start criticizing what I wrote underneath each. Uh, each one of us. Oh, no, I wasn't criticized. I was just reading them. <clears throat> oh, um, okay. The only thing I've really found issue with so far. Hmm. I don't um, care what you guys want to be called. If anything, leave a blank. I, you know, or no, none of that is there. Sure. I'm just thinking purely aesthetics. Sure. Um, the Twitter 
the Twitter unified page. Oh, sure. Um, if you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom where that brick picture is. What? Yeah, no, no, no. I know. I clicked sure. on it. Oh, yeah. It, I haven't done shit in it yet. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just, and, yeah. just bringing up aesthetic points. Like the I, uni unified yeah. thing on Twitter. Absolutely. I was going to ask Dad if he wouldn't mind designing a full with gotcha. the logo as the U name. That is a placeholder. That looks like shit. That's what I, I think. Wrong. That's what yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, actually, you're the easiest way to get information to Dad. I guess I could text him, but if I'll text him too after this. But if you don't mind asking yeah. him, like, hey, Cyril. Um, yeah, and if you could show him that Twitter page too, because that, that thing, um, he doesn't, I don't need him to design it in the same way at all, even like the letters in the same place, but it's just something for him to look at. And then if he can design something like that, go ahead and ask him, I'm going to text him too. So mm. we can put that there. And then if you go to the Facebook page, I think it's the same thing we can put, we can I, basically just show him the Facebook page and the Twitter page would be nice. And, um, be like, Hey, just design something, you know, I don't even give a fuck if the U is the original logo. I just want dad to design it straight from his head because he knows what he's doing. And I do not even want to, <laughs> you know, just tell dad, like, if you could make something to fill this space that would be great yeah so, something that looks because nice he, we didn't give him any suggestions on the the logo and he came up with um every day i look at it i'm like dude this logo is pretty fucking i like it um and and that it makes the business card just look super fresh you take that logo out of there it's basically nothing it's just you slap that logo in with the color scheme and the background it, it looks pretty fresh mm. so uh it looks pretty good which legislator should read Watson's column? I love it. There's not much you can do. Um, with the letters underneath the logo on the business card, but it looks clean and simple. It looks pretty good. So, mm. and 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 these names we got to change too. I, I'm not. I'm not a national campaign manager. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way we can type these out more vaguely. Like, I don't want to front about <laughs> um, if anybody actually looks at this and they're like, oh, a national campaign manager. I also don't want to seem, you know, not legitimate. So it's it's a fine line that um, I think that we need to we need to walk. Dude, we can just we, I can just say I can just say dad's the graphic designer because he's he should be fucking working as one. He's that good at the shit. So that that doesn't bother me. You know, I'm going to keep it that way. But um but for, for us, I don't know. Sorry, I'm like <clears throat> half reading this article that's frustrating me right now. Come on, is, is it at least relate to the safe acts? It does, yeah, it is. Oh, nice, okay, act. sorry. I'm just so confused, like what? It, uh, Hang on, let's, 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 let's oh. clean up. I was going to say. What a, what a do-nothing article this is. Unbelievable! I just posted, posted it. Yeah. Oh, the Buffalo News. Buffalo News. <laughs> Such an oversimplified approach to why the Safe Act is essentially useless is what what he's saying. And like, sure, there's arguments to be made against the Safe Act, but this guy didn't even try. I don't even understand what this is trying to say. I I just I'm yeah, dumbfounded I, how this is a published I article. I don't know where the argument is. He just, <laughs> he just lobs he lobs grenades and then he doesn't tell me why. And then he references an article that he doesn't even link. What is this? What is this fucking? I don't know how I came across this, but this was the first result in news when I Googled Safe X. So 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 and herein is where as far as me starting a campaign in a little and you know in about you know a little over a week i told you not this saturday but next um what 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 not frightens me or anything like that but 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 what um what i'm thinking about the most is is the safe act for sure i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i'm going to approach it um i told you i read a lot about it already 
it seems to me that uh, did you did you read the Wikipedia article at all or not? Nah? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> so it seems to me that a lot of it. Um, hmm, I was thinking about this earlier. What was I going to say? It's just so tough to unpackage and try and talk about something like this. No, it's not. When it's not. it is such a sensitive issue for oh, that's for true. People. Yeah, it's hard to not. It's mm -hmm. hard to have a conversation about the safe fact when when people already have a very emotional tie to how they feel about it. Sure. Whether you're for or against, people are just. I mean, it's mostly against people, to be honest, who are very sensitive about talking about the safe fact. But it's tough, man. People, so, people so, like their so, guns. So when I when I read, so if you can pull up the Wikipedia page or if you remember the, the, yeah, I have the, it up. the provisions part of it yes. when i read through this and we should just go line by line and that should be the the, the cast and what we think because it's actually not not a bad way to do it but when i read through this i i can't help but think that there's just like this disconnect between uh, people who and and i could be wrong and i might find out in the coming months but i i feel like there's a disconnect between people who you know, they just view the safe act as like more gun control, but they don't actually know what it does because like, there's a lot of bullets here. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, I think the biggest thing, this is what happens when you try to play a fine line of, we still have to let some weapons be legal. Um, because of the second amendment. And I think that's right. But then at the same time, we need to, to try to do our best to limit, um, you know, the heinous crimes that are happening. So, so when, when, when you get anything that's a compromise or an in between and some are allowed and some are not, you're just going to get a lot of oversight, a lot of paperwork, um, and a lot of bullets under provisions of these laws. Boring bullets. Yeah. People don't, people Boring. like, and, 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 and things people don't want to read into. Right. They're just, Oh, well, all I know is that the safe act is more gun control and I'm against it. Um, it's like, okay, but you know, what's, what's the alternative? We're just going <laughs> to, well, that's and that's and I see, think this that's is what's going to really think that's yeah. the biggest point for me is that if you don't think more gun control is the answer, that's fine. But mm -hmm. you can't not address the fact that there's still something that needs to be done about right. mass shootings right. and about just the insane amount of gun violence in this country. If you don't right. think gun control is the answer, fine. Let's talk about what is the answer then. Let's let's talk about other avenues of opportunity that we can pursue. But there's just there's not that. There's always just shooting down gun control right and again i mean i'd like to emphasize that you know both you and i are very much in support of the second amendment but you have to approach these things in a reasonable way right i don't know people hear just, gun control and they sexy. just see but that's not sexy right <laughs> Jesus Christ. all right let's see yeah. uh, i'm reading this first that i'm reading this first bullet yeah broaden the legal definition of assault weapons which a lot of people have take issue with, which I get to some extent. Because it includes semi-auto. Semi-automatic pistols, shotguns, and rifles. Mm -hmm. It also banned a bunch of attachments. Um, actually, two or more of these attachments, I suppose. So you can have one. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that I agree I don't with that know, either. I, I, so, so all right. I already see the problem with going through this bullet by bullet. It just, I feel like there's a. I I saw uh, a Quinnipiac poll the other day. I think it was like yesterday. Uh, ninety-seven percent or ninety-seven percent, yeah, of people support universal background checks. So, mm. so when we talk about guns and gun laws, you know, we have to start at our, at the most basic principles. Like, obviously there should be universal background checks. Um, and actually that's, there's, that's a bullet in here. The act created a universal background check provision requiring all sellers or other transfers of firearms and ammunition to conduct background checks, um, mm -hmm. of the prospective purchaser or other transferees, except between immediate family members as long as the family members know that the person getting the gun isn't prohibited by law to have one. Uh, 
Oh, so boy. I just, I just, geez, I, I feel like. So there wasn't universal background checks before this in New York, like requiring all. I'm sure there was a, a background yeah, check to some yeah. extent, but this is just expanding background checks. I would imagine. Yeah. Um, which I don't understand why anyone would be against background checks. You know, we're not making a gun registry. Right. We're just making sure that an individual is in the right legal standing to to own a firearm. I don't understand what the argument would be against background checks. Although I have to say so, that, that yeah. I don't agree with the entirety of the safe act. I mean, there's obviously some. No, neither do I. Neither do I. Right. That I I oppose. The opening bullet of like assault weapons are now semi-automatic. Weapons yeah, that weapons. one's. Mm -hmm. Look, I you know. I, That's just semantics, think... though. Yeah, exactly. And I think that obviously there should be a universal background check. Um, for any weapon, per any any like weapon that or gun, let's say that that you need that you want to purchase, yeah, there should be a background check. But there also should be a prevention from people buying weapons that can ma mass murder people. And 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 I understand when people chafe at that statement, but my challenge to that would be, um, what do you need? a mass like a mass automatic weapon for at all what do you need it for mm. um yeah and, and then once again if they want to chase that chafe at well i don't need it i want it it's like well okay i want to let you, people have whatever they want but they're you're not going to take into consideration that these things are dangerous and if they slip in the wrong hands, like they can kill people on a mass scale and cause hysteria. Like you're not considering that at all. You're only seeing the freedom part of it. Mm. And I understand. I want to embrace that part too. But you know, if it's go if it's a weapon that can mass murder people, like what are you what do you need it what do you need it for? I uh, dude, that's that's just I think it and and people sure. who want to own guns like that definitely don't define most gun enthusiasts. Um I don't know that, but I I want to I want to think not. that's true for sure. Well, no, because I think that's right. I, well, I think that's right because <clears throat> there's a ton of people that I know we know throughout our lives that hunt and they don't own these like you know assault like yeah rifles that you know and I mean, yes we're from New York I got it but um but the the federal government banned them from 94 to 2004, but then they let the provision expire because it had a sunset, whatever the hell they call it, sunset provision in it after 10 years. So it just expired and they didn't renew it. So uh, until it was, after Sandy Hook, you mean? No, 2004 is when in 1994, I could be wrong, but I think in 1994, um, around then there was a ban put in place by Congress on buying assault weapons in all of the United States. And oh, it's a federal ban. Correct. God, and imagine the outrage today if Congress tried to do that. It would I never happen. It would never happen. I, so I don't think that the outrage is a majority voice. No, but it's a majority like, power voice. I mean, the NRA is such a huge, so, such yeah. an insane amount of influence. On so Congress. what? The NRA is for assault weapons? Then, like that doesn't make any sense. I they're want the NRA for, to come out and say that. I wouldn't like, say I don't for think assault do weapons. I think they're just against gun control of any type. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the issue. So I guess right now I'm formulating my campaign trail. Like, oh well, what do you think about the Safe Act? That's that's a very important for, question for, for upstate for, New York. For, it is. You know, I definitely disagree with some of these, but I, but I don't, I, I want us to, to use simpler language. Like, like, let's just have a law that we write in that can never change that says, if you want to buy a weapon, you must pass a background check. Period. End of story. That's its own law. Like, yeah, but then you have to define what a background check background is. background check law. No, because then you have to define what a background no. check is, and then you have to define how that's, how that's determined. Okay. Like, dude, Hang legal... On. Legal jargon is never that simple. The reason that it, it can be this simple, first of all, we're not talking to lawyers on the campaign trail. Jesus Christ, Chad. You're Calm talking down. about legislation. Second of all, sure. You're talking about legislation. Absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. 
look, I'm just saying there's a there's a reason that things are worded the way they are. The way things hold up, the way things are are debated in court when people try and sue against certain laws, you have to define. I do not care. I do not care about the minutia right now, Chad. I'm talking about on the campaign trail, which I did specifically say. And then you just took it in another direction. Well, okay. So what are you saying? So, simple language then in terms of what? About the safe act? Well, that's difficult because I got, I'm got. i going to have to say that I agree and disagree with it, which means I'm going to have to um, definitely know the provisions that I disagree slash agree with and be able to speak speak about them. Mm. Um, but in general, I would just be like, yo, what the, what the hell is going on? Like, why can't we just repeal everything that we have, start from nothing, and then we're just going to have like a background. And, and this is the reason why I can say background check um, without getting into the, you know, detail because I'm, you know, I'm just out there saying there should be background check. And, and most of this, I just told you that there is there, every opinion poll that comes out is like 85% or more of people in this country agree with background <laughs> checks. Like that's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Like people agree. So that's why you can say stuff like that. All right. The detail is, is, is what it is. I, I don't know. I thought you meant um, you were, you were like, it would be better if we could pass legislation with simpler language. No, no, that's right, not what I'm talking meant. about. Just talking to voters. I want voters to better understand what's gotcha. going on in their government. How, how you can't be more transparent than fucking, you know, and I got to applaud the Republicans for doing this, even though I think it's disingenuous and it's not going to lead to jobs as much as they think or a growth of economy as much as they think the tax cut and jobs act. That's fucking what I'm talking about. That's a simple name of a, uh, a bill. Whenever you bring up, um, I don't know, man. A safe act. That's just so terrible. It is. It carries a lot of that. That those two words carry a lot of weight around these parts. I was reading actually. Uh, Background this check article. law. Like everyone's like, okay, all right. Anyways, go ahead. Well, I read uh, upstate New York about roughly sixty to sixty-five percent of people disapprove of the safe act uh, as a whole in upstate Sounds New right. York. Sounds right. I don't know. I just—I was surprised to hear that. I thought it was a bit more split evenly, but apparently not. <clears throat> I also—I um, also want to emphasize that, like, in no way, Evan. I've said this a hundred million times. In no way am I going to win. So I don't want to overthink this. The, the the knocking on doors thing is just to start a conversation. I'm mostly going to be vague. And it's not even like I'm going to have a conversation the first time. I'm still doing the plan of in March and April. All I do is knock, and I say. I'm I, I all, all we got to do is say, hey, like if you're voting later this year, do you have any interest in voting for a third party or an independent candidate, someone who's not a Democrat or Republican? And once I get yes or no, yes, I drop the business card and I say, hey, visit our website, learn more about us. Thanks for your time. That's it. Bam. Yeah. And you check them yes. If they say no, then you just don't worry. No, about I agree. It. I mean, I mean, I don't think that the safe fact is something that you're going to have to. I mean, again, for... unified is an emphasis on two big things. Um, the safe act isn't something that we're, we shouldn't be too concerned with. I mean, you yeah. should have a bit more concern for it. Cause obviously I, I, know, and I am, and I as a politician, and I but, but again, like we're, we're talking, we're talking much more important things. Uh, I can I can right now specifically say that I'd be like, listen, I'm against calling semi-automatic weapons, assault weapons. That doesn't make too much sense. I, you know, I, I don't, if they're semi at, if at their highest aspiration is the, the guns a semi, then like whatever. Yeah. But you put a bump stock on it, Cyril. It's just about fully so automatic. I would, eh? I would, I would get rid of that. Um, I, here's yeah, the thing well, that I, look, I, I, yeah. I take issue with so just then we get rid of bump stocks. Jesus Christ. Well, I take issue with just flat out banning these types of guns and flat out banning these types of attachments. I think that if you want to own higher capacity guns like that, you should have to jump through a couple of hoops. I mean, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but at least we're not getting rid of them right. entirely. You should have to take like a, a, a gun licensing course, maybe, or maybe sure. you have to be interviewed maybe. by local police departments. You know what I mean? Maybe, but maybe you should sit down with a mental health evaluator. Absolutely. Oh, that's tough. No, that's not tough. Oh, that's, that's no, tough. Listen, that's a little listen. infringing. Okay, let's actually talk about... But I get where you're coming from. Let's, I do get okay, where you're if we're from. going to let 
uh, people who are responsible own these weapons. I, I want to get there. Yeah. I don't want to tell people who are going to responsibly use this weapon at a range or privately on their own private range at home. I don't want to tell them they can't do that. All right. Uh, yeah. But I want to get to the right, but I want to get to a point where we can stop the what you know people leadership in our country is calling like weirdos and like mentally deranged people. I want to get to a point where we can stop them as well. All right. And, and unless we can, and yeah. unless I can work with someone to get there and they're willing to say, yes, okay, fine. If you want them to sit down with a mental health evaluator one time, just to like make sure <clears throat> that if not, then I'm not, then I'm, I'm going to ban it all. Right. If you're not willing to come to the table to at least try to stop these people, then I will not let anybody have it too bad. Like seriously. Well, unfortunately, if people, if people don't like that talk, then my career will be short and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not no, I change. think I think people appreciate. Yeah. I mean, at least you're looking for a, a middle ground. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. I think that's what's most Dude, important I, about what we're trying I to was, do is that there's always I, a better middle ground. Right. And 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 I'm about to hit my campaign stump speech stride right now. I was in the military. Okay, I get it. I was on ranges. I was downfield. I was in a lot of places with a whole bunch when a whole bunch of people had really dangerous weapons. Yeah, we had to we had to um, zero every like three months or something like that. We had to like go to the range, not just then, but all the time. We had weapons and ammo on us in the field. Not that we would were actually using it, but like they were there. So I've been around people who all had dangerous weapons, who were all responsible and were doing what they were supposed to. Mm. Um, but again, that's military where you literally get brain, you literally get broken down and built up so that, you know, you are disciplined well, and you follow the rules. And, and, and if we're going to live in a country of freedoms where people can be kind of lazier and not have to take, then we need to, we need to say, well, there needs to be reasonable restrictions. There has to be, there has to be. Well, see, and I, I would, I would counter that even with, I mean, there are so many ar-15s in this country there are millions millions sure. of people who own ar-15s in this country sure. and we don't have an issue with 99 percent of these people so we need to find sure. a way that yeah obviously there is an audience of people out there who want to own these guns and can do so responsibly we just have to find a better way of screening the crazies out mm -hmm. um and i don't know i get that immediately we have to at least try somebody yeah, we well, have to at least try. Because you can't have the mass shooting epidemics that we have in America and just expect people to not do a goddamn thing. There's no way that that's right. going to happen. Right. So you either have a more, a better, more comprehensive conversation about guns and maybe smarter gun control, or right. we start talking about, you know, addressing mental health issues in this country and addressing inner city well, we need to do that too crime well, hey, listen, why can't we do both <laughs> no you can do all of it i'm saying you right, can't do right, none right. of it you can't right. do none of it right because people you are just going to get so fed up with students and this dying. is why i'm definitely people not going to race um, this is why i'm definitely not going to win a race but um i think unified the interview will definitely be fun and actually get off the ground so that's my baby but um i'm also going to be real to myself as far as like yo maybe we should we need to legalize marijuana. Okay. We need to decriminalize, not legalize, but decriminalize all the other drugs at least. So we're not criminalizing um, these people who are, mm -hmm. are, are using. Okay. And we're also not creating like a, a straight up rampant underground market for these right. drugs. Like right. we need to rethink how we approach that because the underground black market fuels and funds the gangs. Jesus Christ, people stay woke. <laughs> Let's go. Stay woke. I, th I think, you know yeah. Again, like there's just like the the conversation in this day and age, well, ban all guns them. or no gun control. But uh, but we need to stop with this this ridiculous rhetoric, right. and we need to find these better middle grounds because they exist. Right, right, they exist. We just need the right politicians to get there and be able to convince people that a, a better middle ground is better for everyone. Because right. it just is, dude. I don't understand why this is so hard. We're gonna pause and take a few second break for. Um, oh, we got unified. commercials. No, 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 for unified identification because your rant was literally like, "Let's find a middle ground. Let's, you know, be more <laughs> unified." Unified. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I guess, I guess that's how I'm gonna. I mean, I, I don't know how these conversations with people. Oh, I'm not even gonna have. I'm not even that worried about it. March and April are, are no stress. Just hey, are you interested? Look yeah. Us up, uh, 
just getting a feel for what people but, but how about want. this how about we uh if you will follow my lead sure um go ahead and go to the gun laws under the platform and and after everything we just talked about um i no, bullet number one still stands oh okay, gun laws, um, yes yep i'm there bullet number two still stands i'm sorry Support the Second Amendment, people's rights to hunt or protect their home well-being from harm. Yep, yeah, I'm with you there. Bullet number Mandatory three stance. Stance. For anyone purchasing a weapon, we need to keep them out of the hands of people who would do us harm. I'm with you there. And we do not support gun registry of any form or any kind. Right. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, and, and again, like, I get that, like earlier you said, maybe you have to sit down with a mental health specialist. Right. I, the one concern that I think people would bring up is anonymity. Uh, one of the ideas of, of letting citizens own guns is to be able to rebuke a tyrannical government. So we have to maybe make a way that people don't get on a registry that way or don't. They're, they're able to stay anonymous, um, but still are able to be properly vetted so they can own those guns. That's the only rebuke that I think people would probably <clears throat> push your way. Well, the only the only the only well, hang on. Not the only registry that we'd have is the ones that people of people who can't own guns. Right. So I don't. Is that what you just said? No. What I'm saying is, if somebody oh. has to jump through a couple extra hoops to oh. own an assault, yeah. quote unquote, assault rifle, then the concern might be that, oh, maybe I'm on a registry now. No. You know what I mean? So you'd the, have the, to. The point of the hoops, I'd have to. You'd have to um, explicitly say that you would. The point of the hoops is so that we can be sure that we can honor your privacy because we can trust you with that weapon. Right. Okay, so oh, that's actually a great way lines. of putting it. Yeah. So something along those lines. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Listen, I'm born and bred to be a politician. All right, listen. Oh, God, don't say it like Just that. Because now you certainly won't get elected. Well, no, I'm not going to. Dude, this is a pretty born conservative Born and bred district. to be a politician. Dude, this is a pretty conservative district. There is... Uh... Yeah. Um. So, okay. Um. Well, actually, and, and, and with the little time we have left, because I never want to. Uh, another thing I want to quickly say is I never want to any pot, any uh, three bros pod we do. I never want to go too long. They shouldn't be more than. That's fine. They should be like thirty to forty minutes. It, I mean, it puts I, less pressure. It puts less pressure on us. Uh, less time people have to listen. You know. Uh, no, I get and, that. Instead of breaking um, up the videos like I used to, it's too much work and time. It, it would have been okay if we were just doing just the podcast and we kept doing that. But for now, the best thing to do is just just put the timestamps underneath the video, like a lot of people on YouTube do. Like, go to this for when we start talking about this. Go to this for when we, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I, I think because with the other three bros, we would kind of have a general idea of what we want to talk about. And then we would just get off the rails and talk. Like, we would just keep Right, talking. and if that also, if we put a time limit on it, it also helps. Um, yeah, it does. Like, like we said, formal introduction. Uh, it doesn't have to be so formal that it feels weird because I, I just kind of did it. I did it for this one. It doesn't have to be like, welcome to that. Like, we could just be like, all right, here we go. Episode two of the three bros. You know, there you go. Whatever. Mm. So, um, and I don't care that this is part of the first episode. That's fine. We're bullshitting and figuring stuff out. Uh, okay. Um, I think we got see. to the crux of of our stance. Of, let's go of through the position. platform really quick. Sure. Um, and 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 not make it perfect because that'll, that'll take more time. But try to make it so it's 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 vague in general and not so policy specific because that's not what the point is. Um, I think the point it should be like emphasize that we agree that we agree that there's problems in America and we want to like highlight those things underneath each thing that are a problem. But like, obviously people disagree on how to get there, which is fine. Um, but hopefully that gets worked out in a more perfect world. But anyways, mm. all right, get rid of citizens United. Uh, okay. That's, um, that's going to stay. I think repeal might be a better word there, but yeah, that's yeah. definitely going to stay. Okay, you're right. Let's do repeal. Wait, hang on. Please. This was... Oh, wow. Eh, what? How does one... Well, I'm sure it's possible, but the Supreme Court... This was a Supreme Court judging. It was. How, hey, how does make, one overturn a, a Supreme Court... Yeah, but that if Make if they've law, declared bro. it to be within the rights of the Constitution, wouldn't making a law against it be unconstitutional? No. Like, no. No. 
I thought the Supreme Court was the end all, say all, be all. Well, well, yes, but um, you can still just write another law and then they'll interpret it. So, so for oh, example, I see. You see what I'm saying? For example, there's a problem. You approach that problem um, one way with certain regulation. Um, someone sues you for that, and the Supreme Court says, well, this regulation to control this problem is unconstitutional. Um, if you want to solve the problem, you you can find another, try to find another way, but as long as it's constitutional in their eyes, you can, okay. then you're fine. But it's all about, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It just has to be constitutional and interpreted that way by the court. And by the way, you could have con uh, majority conservative court, which we do now, and then 30 years later, write the same not the same thing, but pretty much the same thing and then have them uphold it. You know what I'm saying? Like it all depends on who's on the bench. Mm. Um, Gorsuch is actually since he started been super conservative. So yeah, it doesn't surprise me. How many cases have they reviewed so far? I don't know, but I read somewhere that he's pretty conservative already. So I mean, he replaced someone who was conservative Scalia. So yeah. All well, right. We'll see if Ginsburg Repeal can citizens united. Hold on. So we'll fix there. Um, and super PACs, unlimited funneling of money into politics. By the way, since we've kind of ended the conversation on the safe act, do you want me to stop broadcasting or do you want to carry on? No, no, no. We can just keep going really quick. Okay. <clears throat> um, and, and super PACs, yes. Yeah. Unlimited funneling of money into politics makes no sense. I, let's scratch out when individuals have caps. It just doesn't make sense, period. Unlimited funneling of money into politics makes no sense, period. So. Correct. I think, by the way, uh, I am also, hang on, let's just go through this line. You want to say something about that line or something else? No, no it's just something to maybe think about or add that's kind of loosely related. Why is it so expensive to get into politics, man? Why do you have to be a, a fucking, why do you have to raise millions of dollars to get into politics? Yeah, that's part of it. It is, but. That's part of it. We don't have to explicitly, I don't think, say say that um eh, anyways reform legal lobbying of public officials mm. Mm. that one's tough i mean there's an argument to be made that businesses should be able to speak out Towards their own self-interest. Um, yeah, but yeah, but in what way? Money? Yeah, I know. Hobnobbing? Because that's that sounds like well, the, ideally, the, the power influence part in politics. It yeah. doesn't have to just be money. It um, shouldn't be money. I'm pretty sure it, lobbying it, 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 isn't it, supposed it, to be just strictly donating money with people. If a representative, you know, supports businesses in their district, that's different um it's 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 these representatives that uh i bet you we can find plenty of instances on both sides of the aisle where representatives get paid um what am i trying to say oh paid by like just special interests that's probably not even in their district like they raise money from people that just buy their vote and don't have any interest in the actual district they represent. Do you get what I'm saying? Like these like big, massive. Yeah. Um, like, do, I, we, I, do we live in a world where we think Amazon doesn't lobby a ton of representatives? Of course we don't. Right. And Amazon's not in every, um, every place in America. There's only like, I mean, they're looking for their second place, aren't they? There's only like two. I guess they bought Whole Foods too, but whatever. Hmm, that's why yeah, I, no, I think I, I think we should leave it. I think we should leave it because I think to me, ideally, lobbying should be somebody who has a right yeah. to go before the representative and make a case for why they should be heard. I don't yeah, think true. lobbying should be defined by just funneling money into people's campaigns. Mm -hmm. There's too much conflict of interest there. I think we can word it better, but it still needs to be a bullet point that stays. What? Reform legal lobbying of public officials. No, nah, we're just going to leave it like that for now. If you okay. come up with something, just let me know. I don't care. Corporations aren't people. They shouldn't be treated as such. Their interests often do not line up with public, the public's best interests. No, I, get rid of best, but that's fine. 
Just with the public's interest. Yeah. Yeah, give it a best. All right. Uh, partisan gerrymandering around dry lines makes sense to keep communities whole. Staying. Reform yep. election systems. We can <clears throat> better fight the two-party system that has not benefited. Uh... Hmm. Can we say Maybe something like reform like, instead of like, fight? We can better. No, maybe. Uh, yeah. Contest. Maybe contest. I don't Ooh, know. I like reform. That. No, 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 that's not good. We can better contest the two-party system that's not benefiters. No, I like that. Yeah. Not fight. Right. Contest. Yeah. Okay, we need to have smaller, more efficient. Next bulletin stays. stays. Establish term limits. Hmm. I think that stays. Stays, but we don't have to. We don't have to. Um, we don't have to die on that, but I think it stays. No, not die, but we don't have to specify too much there. Um, we're just open to having term limits and having more turnover in in in, in government. Because uh, I mean, more turnover would fight not make perfect of course nothing makes it perfect but it would right. fight people like to it makes like, establishment yeah and, yeah right it makes it harder yeah, to keep power down. like that eliminate corporate welfare play by the same rules that, you know i just don't like that one that one's tough eliminated eliminate like corporate welfare or make them accountable to the money they keep corporations accountable Play by the same rules as the little guys. Keep corporate welfare accountable. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. I mean, <sighs> make a corporate. We could say keep corporations accountable play by the same uh, no, no no hang on keep corporations accountable um they must some sort of they must face competition like the little guys do they shouldn't be so large you know what i'm mm. saying like keep corporations accountable comma they must compete like the little guys encourage a more fair system of capitalism or Ooh. um you know something not fair but like more competitive because like, i'm all about more co competition capitalism works better with more competition or better co or, or something along those lines <clears throat> i see what you're i i guess i misunderstood this bullet when i read it yeah, no, it's not a good one. We're improving it. Keep corporations accountable. <laughs> to compete as much as the little guys. Because it's because it needs to be under the whole big um for a corporation big um big power and influence part. Yeah. Hmm. You know, to be fair, the last increase bulletin kind of report increase corporate competitiveness. Play by the same rules as the little guys. Dude, I like that. Increase corporate competitiveness. No, you don't like that. I just don't know if that's entirely clear with what you're trying to say. In increase corporate competition. Well, because it's not just corporate competition. You're saying you want to you want to even the playing field for corporations not, as not well even, as small at least businesses. have them compete um, with other entities as much as your local mom and pop pizza shop has to compete with. Right. 27 pizza places in every city. So um, in that way, prices are kept down and service is uh, insured is good. Better, right. Right. Because you're, you're competing so heavily for, for business. 
Um, All right, we're moving on. And yeah, too that... big to fail businesses and corporations. That's dang. Yeah, I agree with that. These entities can monopolize and take advantage of the common people. That's it. And the rest of it's getting cut off. And if they do fail, get corporate welfare. Nah, it's too much. It's too much. It's not wrong, but it's too much. It can be, yeah. it can be shortened. That's fair. These um... entities can monopolize and take advantage of the common people. And if they do fail and get corporate welfare, that's taking advantage of the common people too. So it's a repeater. It's a repeater. I think there's more we can expand on under the unifying the country uh, header. Just because. Hang on, hang on. Fading. <clears throat> And super PACs, unlimited funneling of money in a politics makes no sense. Reform legal lobbying of politicians. We left that, right? Yeah. Actually, I, I changed it a little bit. Oh, yeah, cross out best. Oh, you can test. Benefited wrong? You didn't even tell me? Jesus Christ. Jeff. All right. Let's end the podcast right now. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, this has been the Three Bros Podcast. No, that's